I might a butthole for not wanting to spend my own money on my sister's baby shower. Posted by Bloops and Bleeps. My 24 female sister 28 female is pregnant with her first child with her husband. Without even consulting me or anyone, almost immediately after she told us she was pregnant, she basically started planning her own baby shower. Invitations, venue, theme, guest list, everything. Okay, cool, she's excited, it makes sense, I guess. I'm not very familiar with baby showers as I've never been to one, let alone throw one. My mom reached out to me saying, just so you know, your sister is expecting you to throw the shower for her. It's a minimum, okay. Sister never even asked me. But I figured it was the right thing to do to reach out to her and let her know I'd be happy to help her with planning, sending invites, etc. That she's planning basically everything herself. But sending me links to stuff saying here's the venue let me know when you book it. Or here's the exact invitations I want let me know when you order them. Like Jesus H. Christ that's tacky and entitled AF to me. She chose to have sex and get pregnant. Why on earth should the responsibility to pay for everything fall on anyone but her and her husband? I'm happy to help plan it, but I told my mom I won't be paying for anything other than a gift. My mom said that's rude and as her only sister I should help out my mom will be helping pay for the shower as well which I also don't agree with. I do make slightly more money than my sister but with her and husband's income combined they make a little more than me but unless I was crazy rich I don't think it's fair to expect someone else to cover these costs. Especially because I think a baby shower is stupid in the first place, like just send out an announcement and people will send gifts if they want to. I think expecting people to travel from out of state just to give you a gift in person all because you had sex is insane. But people can do what they want so in that aspect I've kept my mouth shut. Am I the butthole? If I refuse to spend my own money on this baby shower, what do you think? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. And now to the comments. A comment from Historical Hospital 3. Not the butthole. Hosting a baby shower should be something you offer, not something asked of you. Also a venue. That's just absurd. OP answered. Well, as for the venue part, no one has a big enough house to host, so that's why she's looking for a venue. Careless League 9494 commented. Not the butthole speaking as someone who has had three baby showers myself and thrown seven. It is super weird and entitled that she is trying to force you to spend money on this while she is basically planning it herself. Honestly, I had be telling her that if she wants you to plan it, it's going to be in a family member's home and the invitations are going to be via email. If she wants to plan it and have all this expensive stuff, then she can pay for it. Coffee Mom 23 likes to add. Not the butthole. Your sister sounds extremely entitled. Hosting and paying for a baby shower is something it's nice to offer to do for an expectant mother. It's not something the mom-to-be gets to demand of anyone else. That said, I am wondering if your mom put the idea in her head. It sounds like your mom's the one pressuring you to do this. It's possible she gave your sister the impression you offered. OP replied. Yet to be honest, I think this falls on my mom more than my sister at mall. Victorian Platypus likes to add. Baby showers are typically not paid for by the guest of honor. However, they are also typically paid for voluntarily, so not the butthole. Dear listener, if you want to see more cute cats, please consider subscribing. It will really help the channel grow. Thank you for your consideration. To the next post. Am I the butthole? For getting my brother-in-law kicked out for his weird behavior. Posted by Pumpkin Peach from a 23 female just married my husband 27 male about 5 months ago but we've been dating for three years before. He has an older half-brother, 31 male David, who my husband was really close with. David spends a lot of time at our house because his wife and him have disagreements from time to time and he stays in our guest room and we host him gladly. Now we'll get into the title. The first reason is because my brother-in-law compliments me a whole lot and never fails to put down his wife with these comments and it makes me quite uncomfortable. He says things such as my wife could never cook like this, I wish my wife had hair and skin like yours, I am black and his wife is Russian. Another reason is the way he'll find any way to touch me and just recently my husband and father-in-law called him out about his behavior but he just denies and says that he's just happy he has a sister finally me husband his all brothers. But the biggest reason is the situation that took place a week ago. My husband was at work and I was at home and my brother-in-law was at my home as well. I had just finished working out with my best friend and I assumed he was still sleeping but he wasn't. I had just finished working out so I was sweating really bad and I went to the kitchen to get water and he was cooking. 
I said hi and he smiled. I didn't think anything about it until he said now I know what you look like after my brother finishes. I stood there frozen and he just laughed. I walked out after that to uncomfortable to even say anything back. Maybe this is where I was the butt. I called my husband crying because I was so uncomfortable. My husband reassured me on the phone head deal with it and not to worry. My husband came home personally and kicked him out. I think me crying fueled my husband's anger because he was insulting David for a long time downstairs. David was livid and said I was too sensitive over a harmless joke. David hasn't been back to our house since and my husband refuses to take me anywhere he is so we missed 4th of July which made my mother-in-law sad so I took her out for lunch and she told me that David's biological mom is claiming that her son is being treated differently now because he's not fully related to my husband and his little brother. She and David are claiming that I am the buff for playing victim and using my woman tears to fuel my husband's resentment and kick his brother out. Mostly everyone is on my side, my mother and father-in-law are neutral and my younger brother-in-law and his girlfriend are both on my side. I just needed outside advice because I'm starting to feel bad. But anyway am I the butt for making the situation more dramatic? And now to the comments. A comment from Tizari. Not the butthole. David's behaviour is creepy and gross. Not just the over complimenting and comparing his wife unfavourably to Eve, but touching you all the time and inappropriate comments. The fact that your father-in-law and hubby had already called him out on it, he knew his behaviour was out of bounds and he still behaved in a disrespectful manner. This isn't something patine with the crush being awkward, this is a middle-aged man who knows his actions and words make you uncomfortable and he does not care. He enjoys it. And left unchecked, he will escalate and not take any responsibility. It won't be his fault because he had a couple drinks, you misinterpreted him, you led him on etc. Slashes do not let him in your home again, do not let him be alone with you ever. Crystal Queen 3000 likes to add Not the butthole changed the locks on your house Am 1701 commented Not the butthole Trust your instincts he was being entirely inappropriate and he has been leading up to this for a long time Also understand it was just a joke as the common fallback when abusers are called out on their behaviour to try to turn guilt back on their victims and now he has enlisted his mother to apply peer pressure on you to further bully you he is hoping to make you back down and apologise, that way he can move in again, perhaps doing worse, and then no one will believe you when you accuse him again. Solo throw weight 154,247 likes to add. David is a creep. Does he have keys to your house? Not the butthole. OP replied to that. No he does not thankfully. A comment from comment 7215. Not the butthole. Your husband threw him out because he was being very inappropriate with you. It wasn't a harmless joke, you didn't misunderstand, and neither did your husband. Check out our playlist that summarize all posts of a specific topic. You can find them in the description box. To the next post. Am I the butthole? For throwing away something my sister said wasn't hers. Posted by Little Skittle 112. In order to get out of picking up after herself, my 17th sister 15 will claim that the mess isn't hers. Whether it's food, trash or an item she left up back shall say that's not mine and 8 out of 10 times our parents will believe her and make me clean it up. The other day my sister left out her makeup palette. It was on the living room table for 3 days until our mum got mad and yelled for whoever it's for to pick it up. I don't wear makeup because it breaks me out and makes my face itch. Mom knows this so why did she think it's mine I have no idea. I say it's my sister's but she immediately goes no it's not, I don't even wear that brand or colour. So Mom then tells me to pick it up and says I should know better than to leave my buy stuff laying around for so long. I just look between the two of them then say okay, I pick up the palette and toss it in the trash. My sister then panics and says why would I do that. I say it's not yours, it's not mom's and it's not mine so I threw it away no one wants to use mysterious makeup that just appeared in the house. My sister then digs in the trash and pulls it back out. She tells me I messed it up and that it was a gift from a close friend. I replied I thought it wasn't yours, that's when she makes a face like oh crap. Her excuse was she didn't recognize it until now. I said yeah right, she just told me to shut up and went to her room. Mom tells me that I was cruel. I reminded her that my sister said it wasn't hers so I had every right to throw it away. She said since I knew it was hers I was in the wrong. She wants me to apologize and offer to buy her a new one. I don't want to do either of those things. If she truly cared about it she would have picked it up instead of saying it wasn't hers. 
I am also upset that mom is completely ignoring the fact that my sister lied to get out of doing something so I feel like apologizing would let her know it's okay to keep pinning stuff on me. Dad is the only one who acknowledged my sister is lying but also says what I did was wrong am I the butthole. And now to the comments. Existing Tarnite Minus 658 commented. Easy not the butthole. Your mom said to clean it up which means put it where it belongs. It wasn't yours, your mom's, or your sister's. You put it where it belongs, in the trash. If anything, it was a pretty clever way to catch your sister in a lie. A big Soxo commented. Not the butthole. Oh, the younger sister favoritism is strong in this post. Content Plenty Minus 260, it likes to add. Not the butthole. But your sister and parents are. No, it wasn't wrong to throw away an item that everyone said wasn't theirs. It was the smart thing to do. If your mother wants to talk about your cruelty, no, that's not what cruel means in throwing it away instead of your sister's constant lying and refusal to own her mess. She is a big problem, and the problem will only get bigger as you get older. You have a year left before you become a phage and can get away from them. Start planning. Not creative at all 16 commented. Not the butthole. Sis was being lazy and you called her out on it. She just didn't want to put it away. She sub commented. Not the butthole, fellow scapegoat. Clint the Witch commented. Not the butthole. Your mother is a butthole for clearly favoring your sister. You are under no obligation to apologize or replace your sister's makeup. If she hadn't lied, she wouldn't be suffering the consequences. I would tell your sister that every time she says it's not hers from now on, you intend to throw away, and when you do, it won't be retrievable. To the next post. Am I the butthole? For refusing to provide for my son M20 any further. Posted by Tall Citron 9744. My son M20 is studying at Italian University. He does not work and therefore my wife and I have always provided for him. Before he moved to Milan to study, I opened a checking account in his name. Leaving him more than enough money to cover his expenses I pay the university tuition and rent. Therefore, they are not one of these expenses. Evidently, it was a big mistake, because after a few months, my son came to ask me for more money because he had already drained his bank account, mainly for disco nights. After a heated discussion with him, my wife and I decided to close the bank account and give him a prepaid card, in my name, reloaded up by us. It went better for a few months, until, a few weeks ago, my son asked me for an extra reload to be able to visit his girlfriend, a really lovely young woman who lives in southern Italy, and spend two weeks with her. After it, he promised me that he would use the money responsibly, I granted his request. Too bad I got a call yesterday from his GFS father, saying he is really sorry that my son berserk his arm and can't go to spend the holidays with him in August. Obviously, my son didn't break a damn thing. So I find out that the boy spent almost all the money from the last recharge to buy PlayStation 5. When I ask him about it, his only justification is that a new Spider-Man game has to come out and he can't play that with the old PlayStation. If my son had been honest with me, I would have bought that PlayStation for him. But I can't accept being ridiculed in this way, which is why my wife and I have decided to also take away his prepaid card and give up from now on paying him anything other than his studies. My son started yelling at us, insulting us and threatening to leave the house which he actually did, only to come home for dinner. He said it's over and he does not recognize me as a father anymore. He does not want to talk to me anymore and he is angry with his mother too. He says his girlfriend will leave him because of me. I wonder first of all what I did wrong as a father and then if I really am the butt in this story. And now to the comments. Fran of Fev likes to add. Not the butt I wish that was clear to you. You are absolutely not the butthole here. Her son has verbally disowned and insulted you. He has a lot of nerves saying that you win your bankroll of his entire life. You and your wife should seriously consider discontinuing to pay for his studies. He clearly has zero respect for you and your wife. Fergie MTN Breakdown likes to add Everybody sucks here for enabling your son. You are giving your adult child free tuition, free rent, free money, allows him to fake medical injuries for money, talks rudely to you whenever he wants, and acts like a spoiled brat, and somehow your son has not learned any proper money management skills. Why? Cause you enable him. If my son had been honest with me, I would have bought that PlayStation for him. Why? You are creating a system where he does not have to work for anything because he knows daddy will fix everything and buy him anything he wants. You are raising an entitled child and that is due to your parenting skills. He is a god am adult, he should work on his own financial management skills and not act like an entitled child. 
You are raising him to be a spoiled brat. He is even lying about a serious medical injury to get money from his girlfriend's parents. Have him get a goddamn job, JFC. Why is your son acting so responsibly? Because an irresponsible adult raised him while leaving him with no valuable life skills to sustain himself with. My advice, continue to pay for his education. Make him get a part-time job so he can still focus on his studies and he has to pay 50% of his rent. Some Pi commented. Not the butt hole, he sounds like he needs to get a job and stop spending all of your money. He also needs to learn that the real world is hard and you're not always going to have fun money. Shibizabilipi likes to add. The more you keep giving him money and giving into his whining, the bigger problem you are creating. Cut him off, he'll have to get a job and learn how to support himself. Not the butt hole, but getting close with the way you're spoiling him. Odd presentation 7642 likes to add. And uh, He's lying to you, manipulating you and breaking promises slash agreements over the money. He's 20. Time to grow up and get a job and pay for himself. Seems to me you're only family if you give into what he wants and pay for everything. In my opinion, he's a spoiled brat taking full advantage. Sliver of optimism commented. Not the butthole, he is using you. If you want to see more Q cats, please consider subscribing. It will really help the channel grow. That is all I have for you today. I hope you liked it. Have a nice day and hopefully I see you soon.